Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. And today our topic is about politics. First, happy Sunday. May the Lord bless you all. And uh, uh, let us remember that the good of our Lord made us uh, gather together today. And I pray that all of you are safe and uh, healthy and doing great. Uh, this is a topic we spoke about before. But, uh, you know, uh, somebody sent me a request, says, uh, okay, you did not agree with David with about what he said, but what is the proof of what he said? I mean, he he said what uh, it's written in uh, the Human Rights uh, Report by United Nations. What is your side of the story? So let us see first what uh, David, he said. As if mass internments, brainwashing, forced labor, forced sterilizations, and organ <laughs> harvesting weren't enough, Muslim women are being tortured and gang raped at Disney approved Chinese re education camps. Hmm. If you go and see what uh, David he was saying, he will mention to you that three, three people they said this has happened three. One of them, she never saw not some, uh, anything. The other one, suppose she's a police woman, she told the other one, and there's extremely, cannot be believable because, you know, we are talking about a communist. And you know, if a communist police, he told somebody a secret what would happen to him. I mean, who wanna believe in those stories? And there is a woman, she is a Chinese Muslim woman, she said that they rape her. What is that? If I say right now, who is willing to really to to uh, willing to say that uh, Christian Prince he raped you so we can take him down? You know, I'm sure there's many they would do so. They would do so. You know, people who hate you they will do that. You know, they uh, the Ilgor or the, whatever they call them. Uh, they are trying for a long time to separate themselves from the Chinese. Why? Because they are kuffar. And if we go and, and read in the last few years only, how many terrorist attack they did from chopping heads to attacking police stations with, with butcher knives and chopping the police pieces to attacking villages, Chinese villages, uh, uh, who they are not Muslims. So uh, uh, when I was last time in the Forbidden City in China, uh, they have a big, big, uh, huge column in the uh, around the city. Why? Because it happened for many time that one of those terrorists he would drive his van. They, they chose a big truck, and they drive over the tourists and whoever go into the forbidden city. So uh, uh, we have three people saying what David Wood is saying, and this is written by who? United Nation. You know, is it not United Nation who said that? the Mujahideen in Syria are freedom fighters, aren't they? I mean, all the terrorists in Syria, according to the Human Rights Report, they are freedom fighters against the aggression of the Assad regime. But all of us, we knew that this isn't not true. Yeah, the Assad is a dictator, but those are terrorists. Isn't it the Human Rights Report? Is the one who says, uh, that uh, uh, a country like uh, you know uh, uh, Qatar uh, is accepted and they voted for it to be a part of the uh, Human Rights Council. Qatar, a guy he made a poetry about the prince. He is now serving for 15 years in jail, and God knows if he will leave ever. Is it this is the same place where uh, uh, Saudi Arabia became a member in the Human Rights Council. Saudi Arabia, Iran, Venezuela. I mean, what, what, what this is a Human Rights Council? So, in order to bring me a witness, first you have to uh, to examine that witness and what he said and what proofs he have. And all those who they are writing what the witness saying, they have their own political agendas and they are dictators them, themselves. So you can listen to this. I mean, uh, anyone can say that they, they've been, you know, they've been raped, etc. Uh, but the true rapist, nobody spoke about them. How many, uh, how many uh, Christian women were raped in uh, during the war in Iraq and then now, or in Syria, or in Egypt? Where are they? 
what happened to them there's a woman they strip her from her clothes she is 70 years old in in egypt in egypt 70 years old over 70 years old they made her naked and they, they drag her in the floor all around just because she is a christian woman and then the judge in the court there decide that it is her fault and they let them go what is the human right report why we don't have a you know like a, I mean it's a it's a joke when they speak about look like the, do you know that the, like uh, the statement like who is talking look who is talking look who is talking so I am sure that Chinese are doing breaking the law of a human right but human right according to who who is the one when I talk about human rights why we don't see USA putting sanctions in Saudi Arabia as an example let us go and ask ourselves. Okay, uh, Mr. Trump suddenly he is in love with Muslims and he want to defend Muslims. That's wonderful. Hmm. Trump is now is uh, uh, Hajji Trump. So how come he don't put sanctions in the one who kill Muslims in Saudi Arabia, in Iraq, in Syria? I mean, in Syria he put. <laughs> uh, but he put he put he put sanctions in the one who is killing terrorists, not in the terrorist. Uh, how come he don't put sanctions in his prince that he's a friend, the Prince of Qatar? Is that the country of a human right? I mean, those people are a bunch of hypocrites. Don't listen to the news. Chinese are dictators, and we know that. They are communists, and they are discriminating Christians. They are destroying churches. But not everything you see is gold. Now look with me. The Chinese are killing Muslims. But then, the Arab are shaking hands with the Chinese and not only that they are signing deals with billions billions of dollars Iran Iran signed the biggest deal in here in the, in the history of the Iranian regime in the bigger ever you can say Iran is sold to China this is just this month Okay, but hold on. The Chinese are killing Muslims and they are raping Muslim women. So how come the Western countries are putting sanctions on the Chinese, but the Muslim countries, I mean, the, the, the Western countries only, like Germany is against China, <laughs> you know, France, you know, they defend the, the Muslims in Uyghur, you know, they love the Uyghur. Uh, England, you know, all of them, they love Uyghur. You know, Trump, he love Uyghur. Obama, he love Uyghur. You know, all of them, they love the Uyghur. But the Arab and the Muslims government, they go and they kiss the shoes of the Chinese and they sign agreement with them. Name for me one Muslim country put sanctions on China because of what you claim you are doing. The Chinese investment or deal involved between 400 to 600 billion. They bought the country, literally. This is now. This is this is this is March twenty seven. Just two weeks ago, less than two weeks ago. <laughs> okay, forget about the Iranian. Forget about the Iranian. You know. Uh, let us see this one. Okay. Uh, what about the Chinese and United Arab Emirates? Huh? This is March, March 29th. This is less than 10 days ago. This is 10 days ago. United Arab Emirates, they signed an agreement to establish centers for exchanging information, intelligent information against Muslims. Why? Because they are fighting terrorism. <clears throat> so why the Prince of Emirat, who is a sheikh, is a sheikh, literally, hmm? who spent billions of dollars to spread Islam in Europe, building mosques everywhere. Why he is signing such an agreement with the Chinese? Not only money deal, but they want to fight Islamic terrorists together. That is interesting. Isn't it?
This is just yesterday, March 29th. Today we are April 11. Okay, what do you mean? What What do you mean the Emirati <coughs> and the Chinese? They want to fight terrorists. Who are they? Those terrorists? Let us see. The Christians? No. The Hindus? No. Buddhas? No. Atheist? No. Uh, who's left? <laughs> You know the joke? So China is killing Muslims, but Muslims are signing with the China to fight Muslims. Not only they make the biggest deal of money, but they are making deals how to fight Muslim terrorists. That's amazing. So for Trump, Trump is so worried about the Muslim you go in China will put sanctions on them. They are not being good to the Muslims. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Macron, which Muslim they hate him to death, he said the same. You know, then we stand against China for uh, human rights. Uh, Valerie, they said, okay. And then the, the, this uh, crazy woman in Germany, Merkel, uh, they, what's wrong with the German people? They could not find in the whole country somebody to elect except this woman. I mean, this woman is obviously she's crazy. Find different women who are smarter. You, maybe you like to have a woman. She is the in charge, no problem. I have nothing against women. Some of them, they are very smart. But this woman, she is a donkey, literally. Find a smart woman. She is a genius. Like you know, the the Egyptian, the, sorry, the British. You know, they they have a woman. She is strong. She is smart. Her name is Margaret Thatcher. Man, that was something. She was equal to a one hundred leader, and she's a woman. Can't you find in Germany someone better? All of them the same garbage, the same game. Suddenly, all the European and the American and the Canadian, all of them they are supporting the Uyghur, and suddenly all the Muslim countries are supporting China. <laughs> that's amazing that's so beautiful Saudi China signed a 28 billion deal how much how much 28 billion yes brother <laughs> you know I mean what's, what's wrong with people Okay, so this is the country who, 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 who spread terrorism around the world. This is where all the terrorists are coming from. Muhammad himself is coming from there. This is the country who supposedly the last one practiced Sharia, if we can say so. Not They practice maybe 70% of Sharia law. And they are the first one to sign agreement and shake hands and give kisses to the bully of the beast. I mean, what's happening here? 28 billion so Iran is rushing to serve the master of China Emirat is rich the Saudi okay yeah. Egypt you name it I mean even the vaccine of those people they are coming from China but remember they are killing Muslims what about the Muslim our brother the holy brother Erdogan Erdogan, he is going to fight for the Muslims around the world. Look at this article. Why Erdogan has abandoned the uh, the Uyghurs? <laughs> he did what? What he did? I did not see it. He abandoned, as if he used to care for them. <laughs> you know, he abandoned. I mean, isn't this guy, he, he took Ayah Sophia, he is going to spread Islam, Allahu Akbar, you know, uh, he, uh, he, he threat those who make a cartoon of the Prophet, you know, he, he made a threat even to France, supposedly, because they are fighting Muslims. When it's come to China, he is the puppy. Turkish opposition challenged Erdogan over you go silence. This guy is suffering from silence. He's not only not talking. I mean, he didn't do anything. In the top of that, they ask him about the topic. What do you think about? He says, "I what he said, I heard nothing." <laughs> silence. The big mouth guy suddenly he is in silence or is is, is, is silence mood. Maybe he is using a Chinese phone. Maybe. I bet you. 
So the Turkish opposition challenge Erdogan over your silence. I mean, what's wrong with this guy? Suddenly he hears, he, he hear nothing, he see nothing, and he is not there. Like what happened? What your What are you talking about? I don't heard. Of, I never heard of them. They exist. So how come the Chinese are? David would make a video about them, but Erdogan he don't. <laughs> This is hilarious. David Wood is a crying for the Chinese women being raped. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, you know, take take your your statement from uh, Human Right uh, page. What what is funny? Erdogan, he do not know what David Wood is talking about. But David Wood, what are you talking about? And David Wood said, Erdogan, <laughs> don't you see Human Right report? Hey, hello. Okay. What about the Prince of Qatar, number one supporter for terrorists in the world? The friend of Erdogan, the one, the money, the, the wallet of Turkey, the wallet of the terrorist. The same story, brother. The same story. They line up to kiss the shoes of China. One after one. Okay, forget about this. The King of Jordan. I mean, I don't know why. Just did I say a king? This guy is a king. You know, last week, the King of Jordan, if he called himself king, and the West, I know, maybe I should make a video about this king and his family. You know, like I asked myself, how the one, his grandfather used to take a shower once a year, he became a king. Mm -hmm. Let's read history. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Her Majesty, the Queen of England, made him or her family. They made the King of Eng uh, uh, Jordan, grandfather, a king. <laughs> All of us, we know the story. They brought a Bedouin from Mecca and they said to him, listen, we want to destroy the, the Ottoman Empire. We will make Arab revolution and we will, you will, you will be our toy. We will pay you even a salary. Imagine the king of the Arab, the first king they created, they created him. He used to get salary from England. That's wonderful. And by the way, this guy claimed, the king of Jordan, he claimed to be descendant, 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 descendant from, uh, <clears throat> from the king, from, from Prophet Muhammad. That explained why he's so corrupt. That explained very much why he is extremely corrupt. So, you know, a result for what we are saying, to make it short, if we can, all of them in the West, they fight for China, or against China aggression, except, except the brothers and sisters. The Muslim don't, Muslim countries. Muslim countries, they worship China. They love the Chinese government. They sign deals with them. They shake hands. They obey order and they will deliver anyone is wanted who is wanted by China. Any Muslim who is Chinese is wanted by China. The King of Jordan, he will send ship you free shipping and handling to China right away. The same as Egypt, the same. I mean, I can show you, you can search right now and you will see all of them, they are kissing the shoes of China. And this is now. This is not, we are not giving you news 10 years ago. So why America and why the West is doing this? What this is your gore thing? The answer is very simple. China became so big as powerful country rich. And somebody have to stop the beast. The beast our beast don't accept any other beast to exist we have to have one beast america have to control the whole world not the russian not the chinese not india no one the second you grow and you became so big and threat then we have to find a way to stop you and then we find sanctions on what in huawei why because they are spying at us
<laughs> I like it by the way this is spying at us my friend if you call right now any bank any company they will answer you from China I'm oh, sorry from India from the Philippines all your information American is stored overseas I never called an American company customer service hey Amazon uh, I made an order okay there okay sorry I didn't say what you're saying I'm speaking to you from Bombay boom 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 here so you are worried about our information being stalled by and TikTok uh, did, did you remember TikTok Trump he went on TikTok TikTok is studying is is a, is a preserving the information of the American and the Chinese server like what the heck We stole the information of the whole world in our server. Who own Google? America. Have you ever heard of one person who used the internet in the world? Don't use Google product from Gmail to Android. Which means we have details about every single human being in this earth who use internet. Oh, what about Apple? Zach and Nike use Apple. <laughs> Which means all the pictures of Zach and Nike is found in Apple server. <laughs> Imagine Zach and Nike getting married. And you know, like he have like his uh, six years old bride taking pictures with her. And you can find the pictures in Apple. I mean, what a joke. But they found that this program, TikTok, is going uh, crazy. And uh, uh, Facebook is losing ground. Twitter is losing ground. So we have to stop the beast. It's all about business, my friend. Now we go to different. I mean, you get the image, right? You get it. As you see, Muslim leaders, they are shaking hands, kissing the shoes of the Chinese, while the Western leaders are fighting China because of Muslims, not because of, uh, you know, China became so powerful, money. No, 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 no. We care for human rights. They never made any claim against China because of what the Chinese government do to the Christians. Okay, are we are we human too? Let us say, okay, the European Union, USA, Canada, whatever, they are fighting against aggression, against a human right, uh, you know, violation. What about the Christians? We never heard of them saying anything about it. They destroy churches. Go right now and search China destroy churches. Christian being arrested for what? For we are not terrorists. We are just we have the Bible in our hand. How come they go mute about it? Because speaking about defending Muslims, that will strip them from any uh, being taken aside because supposedly the West is labeled as a Christian uh, uh, countries. So, uh, you see, we are not defending Christians. We are defending the Muslims. Come on. You know, that will make us clean. But we know that this is a joke. Now, somebody mentioned the word Russia. No problem. Let us talk about Russia. Russia. It's the same story. You see, I'm not here, by the way, taking side of uh, China or Russia. And we are just saying, sharing the truth. They don't want the Russian to be a major power, the same as China. They want to be in control of everything. They want to eat the cake alone. You cannot eat the cake with us. We are controlling the world for the last century. And you are coming now. Who are you? Huh? This is why when the Russian, they have a weak president like Yeltsin, man, the West love Yeltsin. Hey, Yeltsin, can you yell at us? And we will not hear you. You can yell as much as you want because he was weak. When Yeltsin, he attacked Grozny and he destroyed Grozny. He literally destroyed it. The West did not open their mouth for a second. Huh. Why? Because this is our man. You know, he's uh, sorry, he's our puppy. I mean, the guy, he literally, he burned the capital of Grozny, the capital of Shishenia. He burned it. And he was fighting against terrorist Muslim, by the way. But nobody opened his mouth. The West go in a mute. I mean, look at these pictures. The city is gone. There's nothing. I mean, the city is like, bye-bye. 
why because he is our puppy okay Putin is a KGB person extremely extremely uh, powerful man he is refusing to be the puppy of the West so he's our enemy what if Putin became a puppy of USA oh man we will love him even when we give him some bones but he refused now I'm not saying he's good by the way I'm not saying that Putin is a good person and this is not what I'm saying I'm saying if you are their puppy you are a good person if you are not you are not the Prince of Saudi Arabia oh he's a very good person Trump he take pictures with him and he is like oh I'm so proud look he look look at the look at the check look at the check he gave us look at the check did you see the check I mean a president of a country like America he go in TV holding a check in his hand can you believe it this is the check my friend take a look they paid us <laughs> but isn't it the guy this is the same guy who 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 sent his intelligent to make a guy who went to the uh, uh the embassy in Turkey, the Saudi embassy, and they made him literally shish kebab, hummus. Trump didn't see it. Like what? What? No, no, we heard nothing about it. <laughs> we heard nothing, and we shake hands with them, and we take their money. Oh, their money is a holy money. It's coming from Saudi Arabia, brother. This is holy money. This is holy money. It's coming from Allah. So what if they kill people? So what if they rape people? So what if they torture people? It's okay. But their money is coming from Allah. This is the holy Mecca, brother. See? And it doesn't matter, by the way, if it's Republican or Democrat. It's the same garbage. Don't, don't think it's like going to make a difference. <laughs> when it's come to money, all of them is... Uh, uh, you know, like uh, somebody like... We mentioned Russia, right? Right now, there's a conflict between... Uh, the Russian and the Ukrainian and I feel really sorry for the Ukrainian because they are no match for the Russian I mean Russia is really a super powerful country now the Ukrainian they love their land and they want to defend their land and I don't blame them you know you love your land and they are like people who they are proud about their country their tradition good for them but look even how they use even the one who is suffering. They use them. And I will explain to you. They don't dare to fight Russia. They don't. They don't dare to fight China. Who dare? Who dare? Do USA dare to go in war with the Russian? <laughs> you are right. They will never do so. Because that will be the end of the world, not only the end of USA and Russia. Because both are extremely powerful, and the Russian are really, really powerful when it's come to this kind of weapon. So what we do? We put sanctions in Russia, and if there is somebody from the neighbors have a problem with the Russian, we make them fight with them, or let us say we push them to go in war. So we can be like annoying Russia, but we are not going to go in war with the Russian. Putin testing Biden in Ukraine. Uh, go and see the news. How he is going to test him? He want to put him in a check? Like, what does that mean? <laughs> Putin is saying to Biden, hello, idiot. If you are a man, come here. You are a potato. And those things you say in the news, it's for the news. But reality is here in the ground. So Biden, he said, oh, we are going to send ship, warship to Ukraine. Okay, we support Ukraine. I wish he do. <laughs> do. Do he? Do he really support Ukraine? 
When the war happened, they are not there. Anyone remember what happened in Georgia? The same story. The poor Georgian people. Russian, they are seeking a, a piece of land where supposedly the majority are Russian to be independent. George Bush, he said to the president of Georgia, if you go in war, we are behind you. And he was right. They were behind. <laughs> So the poor Georgian, they decide to go in war. With who? With country like Russia. I mean, what's wrong? Small, tiny country like Georgia want to go in war with Russia. And then George Bush, he promised the president, like, come on, what are you talking about? If the Russian attack you, we will be behind you. The Russian attacked. George Bush, he stopped receiving phone calls from Georgia. Literally. Like, hello? The president of Georgia, he keep calling. Like, hello? Hey, George. Hey, Bush. Come on, come from the Bush, man. You promised us. We are in war. Like, come on. The Russian, they arrive almost to the, to the capital. Are you there? Nobody is there. Bush is playing golf. Do you see how they use you? So they use those poor Georgian to go in war. I feel sorry for them. You know, they are defending their land. What they do? They leave them alone. All of Europe left them alone. And now Georgian is a very poor country. Most of the people of the country, they go and seek refuge or asylum in, until now that the country is messed up. What happened? Where is European countries who promised Georgian help? What happened? Where is American? The American dream. Hmm? So when they say, when Biden, he say he is going to support Ukraine, I assure you, and actually they did that not long time ago when, 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 when the things, you know, uh, the, the war started between the Ukrainian and the Russian, they, they did the same. They told the Ukrainian, we are with you, we are with you, but we cannot be there in the ground. <laughs> I mean, we are with you, brother. Okay, listen, we really love you. Uh, okay, we are, you know, we are American, we support you, and we believe you are right, but we cannot help you, okay? But we are with you, we are with you. Uh huh. Even they told, you know, like in the time of Georgia, they told uh, uh, Georgian that we are going to protect your sea and your ports and your airport. When the attack happened, what George Bush he said? Uh, let us see if we can find here in the news in in the. Uh, yeah. Anyway, like he he said, uh, we we are going to protect only our asset. Our asset. Uh, I like the word asset, by the way, because it's include the word ass. We will only protect our assets. So you send those people to war, saying to them, we are behind you. Don't worry, be happy. And then they go there. And then you say to them, we are going to protect only our asset, not yours. And they will do the same, sadly, with Ukraine. So I hope, you know, I pray that Ukrainian people who really, I, 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 I pray for them, you know, to, to fight any aggression and not to be defeated. But I say that they are using you, my friend. They are using you. They will never fight for you and they will never defend you. And they will send you, like, you know, uh, USA send aid to Georgia. USA send aid to Ukraine. But do you know what they send them? They send them the junk. Literally the junk. The junk of America. Which cannot be used anyway. Like the, you know, and they charge them for it, by the way. Like they said to you, it's an aid, it's a free aid, right? But then they made them sign an agreement to get the money back for a junk. And if those poor 
the Ukrainian, they go in a war with the Russian, they will find that the American junk is useless. This is the truth. So Biden, he stand with Ukraine. He do. I mean, I believe it, honestly. I really believe it. So the Russian, they send their troops to the border of Ukraine. Oh, what Biden he will do? You know, in order to understand what Biden he will do, you have to know the thing. <laughs> you know the thing. You know, like, you know the thing. Okay. USA is considering sending warship. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let us say USA send warship. And in some places they tax flat uh, the kind that comes from sorry, commercial of CNN. I hate this TV station, but let us use the liar TV station. I mean, this is the perfect TV station, by the way, to say so. So, USA considering sending warship to the Black Sea amid Russia Ukraine tension. Oh, okay, let us say for the sake of argument, we send them there. What they will do, <laughs> they will take selfie. I mean, you are fooling who. Do you even dare? They don't even dare to hit Iran. The potato Trump, he killed the leader of the Iranian, and then the Iranian they shoot back. And what Trump he did? No, nothing happened. Why? Because Iran, uh, you know, they have a lot of puppies in the area, and they can cause a big problem for us. So we decided to ignore it. And this is Iran. Iran, a small puppy. But this is Russia. This is the biggest country in the world. This is the most powerful army in the world, actually. Not the Chinese and not the American. You see, the size of an army is measured about who is going to survive after the war. Not only destroying. Huh, we can destroy. What matter? See, in, in talking about what matter, yeah, what matter is your lies. So, brother and sisters, if you are a Ukrainian brother, Joe Biden is going to send you troops to Ukraine. And what the what the troop of the American troop would do if they go to Ukraine? They will eat your delicious food, and they will drink your coffee. And if the Russian they came, brother, they will take pictures to expose them. They will not stand watching. I, I trust me on that. They will do something. They will take pictures. And they will publish it in CNN about the Russian aggression against you. And they will have interview with Olga from Russia. And they will say to Olga from Russia, why you are attacking Ukraine? And Olga from Russia will be exposed in CNN. And this is how the American, they will respond to the aggression of the Russian. I mean, come on. We know the joke. This is why I said, I pray that the president of Ukraine is smart. And he will not believe the American for a second. Don't believe them. If you want to go in war to, to bring your land, to defend your land, good for you. You know, I don't like coward people. But don't trust the American. Don't. If you think the American, they will defend you you are mistaken go and see do you know what trump he did to the kurdish let us give you an example the kurdish they fought for us literally we armed them we trained them we send them uh, uh, uh you know weapon and okay they fight isis and they suffer a lot in this war the kurdish people what trump he did overnight because he made an election promise to withdraw the troop. Election, you see, election promise. He left the Kurdish for Erdogan to eat them alive.
what happened how you do that aren't those all your friends what overnight I mean how fast in the speed of light our friend Trump he decided to dump them in the garbage he don't know them no more why because Erdogan is a friend he want to kill the Kurdish so okay Erdogan we will give you the Kurdish what you will give us in return hmm what those people they are you are arming them you are training them you are you call them our area like you know they are our friends our supporters uh, we have a base in their in, the, in their territory uh, uh, you know like and we depend on them heavily in fighting ISIS in the ground and now you leave them for the Turkish and they, he left them literally to the Turkish and the Turkish attack the cities of the Kurdish and they take it one after one down raping their women killing their the young capturing their women and raping those women go and see the videos in YouTube this is what the American do to their friends if you have money we, you know we are there for you the Prince of Qatar he have money the Prince of Qatar uh, Trump he went in TV do you remember I don't know how many of you have a good memory and he went in TV and he says the Prince of Qatar supporting terrorists let me find you the video here we go i think the consumers these days want to buy products from companies okay i mean this commercial is really amazing and the funny they said you're a chinese product okay historic trip to europe and the middle east i addressed a summit of more than 50 arab and muslim leaders a unique meeting in the history of nations where key players in the region agreed to stop supporting terrorism, whether it be financial, military, or even moral support. Moral. The nation of Qatar, uh -huh. unfortunately, has historically been a funder of terrorism. The, the, the what? The, uh, historically, the funder of terrorists? So why we made an, a base on there, and why we protect the prince? Why you don't arrest the prince? I mean, you just said those people are behind all terrorist attacks historically, not something new. Which means 9-11 happened by the dollar of Qatar. Every single attack happening in the world is happening by the dollar of Qatar. He just said that in TV. And guess what? Less than two weeks after he sold them, billions of dollars airplanes fighter jet billions right away the Qatar he said come on Trump please we will pay you okay uh, come on yes we support terrorists so what come on okay how much just name your price Trump he said okay let us see how many billions you are going to send us in the coming 10 days and since then Trump he never spoke against Qatar again and Qatar make a deal with USA every three months. And Qatar they rented his own son son-in-law. <laughs> I mean, have you ever heard of somebody renting a building for a billion dollar? The price of the building is not even billion dollar. The rent is billion, and they pay him in cash. And the rent is for ninety nine years. Man. So Joe Biden is uh, his uh, son Hunter. He went to Ukraine and he was a corrupt man. Okay, I believe in that. What about you? Qatar, they could not find a building to rent in New York except your son-in-law building. And after you said what you said, 99 years. There's a guy saying 9-11 is inside job. My friend, you, the only inside job is you. 
I think you are a person who if you ask your mom who is my father she will say to you inside job get out of here I mean 9 11 is nice side this is what we have the stupid in American you know stupidity sometime I mean Osama bin Laden the, the Muslim they have tons of videos celebrating and saying yes we did it and we will do more I mean you will see American guy I mean this and uh, living is inside job yes it's inside job okay uh, what <laughs> You got to love American people. Unbelievable. Very, very genius. Yeah, inside job. You are inside job. Hey, mom, who's my dad? Uh, his name is George. Uh -huh. I don't believe it. This is inside job. Conspiracy person. They love conspiracy. Just make a... Con like now, spread the lie. Hey, guys, I saw... What is that? A Bigfoot in my backyard? Is that a Bigfoot? <gasps> it's a Bigfoot. I, I just saw him. Let me get my Photoshop and I will make this lizard look like a, big, uh, a Bigfoot. I mean, they love it. They love, 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 love it. We speak about facts, you idiot. Don't make stupid things. This is what happened, my friend. They will use you and they will step on you and you don't count for them. So now the Russian, they are sending their troops to the borders of... Uh, Ukraine. I hope the Ukrainians are smart and they will not get involved in a big war with the because we knew what would happen. I mean, there's, you see, it's not about you having the right only to win a war. That's not true. Otherwise, Turkey will not take Constantinia. Otherwise, the Ottoman will not take Armenia. Otherwise, they will not take uh, Syria and Iraq and kill the Kurdish. If it's about who is right, it's not true. It's not enough to have to be right. You have the right to defend your country. You are defending your home, and defend your home. Don't don't let them take it without resisting. But don't open a war unless you are ready for it. Otherwise, you will lose more land and more blood for nothing. You know, the Ukrainian ones, they used to have nuke. They give it up. And who is the one who made them give it up? The American. They paid. Can you believe it? The American, they paid for it. If the Ukrainian, they have their nukes until now, the Russian, they would not even dare to say hello. Because you have nukes, we have nukes. For sure, even if they have nukes, I mean, uh, the Russian still is more stronger, but now the war will be something different. It is the American who made the Ukrainian give up their nuke. They are behind your weakness. Don't listen to them. Listen to what is right for your country and trust no one. This is my advice to Ukrainian. Trust no one in defending your country. Like Erdogan, he come and he says he want to sign agreement with the Ukrainian. He want to sell them... Uh, uh, like what? Uh, a, dr a drone. <laughs> My friend Erdogan himself is buying the S-400 to protect his drone from the Russian. You go and you want to buy the drones of the Turkish, which is a toy for, them, for, for the Russian. They can take it down so easy. A country who buy Russian weapon to defend himself. How he can sell you his weapon to fight the Russian? That is remind me of the Greek prime minister, idiot. He decided to buy the, the Turkish drone <laughs> because it's cheapest. You know, it's made from cartoon. You idiot. You want to fight that court. I mean, you are buying their drone to attack them with it. Don't you know that their drone will not work in them? This is why I say smart leadership make a country. Smart leadership can destroy country too, of the others, and build his own country, of the enemy. A stupid leadership can destroy their own country.
uh, don't remind me of King Jong Jong. You know, I saw a video of Kim Kong Jing Jong. You know what his name? King Kong Kim. <clears throat> Kim. This is the North Korean, right? I mean, I saw in the video how the people of North Korea they they they, they, they clap for for him in the in the TV. Unbelievable, man! Unbe they love him. They love him. They love him to death. <laughs> I mean, here you see how 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 what 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 death can do, what fear can do. The guy, I wish I can find the video. You know, they were like they were like. Eee! I mean, the guys they are so fast, like they, their hands in the speed of the wings. They they are like in competition, tens of thousands doing the same in fear of the beast. However, this beast, Trump, he have no problem to go and shake hands with him. Hmm. Oh, we go and shake hands with him. Okay, I'm not against, by the way, I'm not against that because if that would avoid a nuke war, okay, you know, peace is good. But this is not really what the target of America only, you know. We shake hands and then we we give we show them the money, we show them the dollar, and then the North Korean they will give up their weapon, and then after that we treat them like puppies. You know what I mean? Now we cannot treat them like puppies. But if they give their weapon, we will. Uh, I'm trying to find the video for this. I mean, it's amazing, really scary, how people there they were like uh, welcoming the 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 president. trying to find it <clears throat> or you should see the video when they uh, when when the when the president he died Where is the video? I can't find it. And by the way, this uh, uh, the president of North Korea, when he go war, women they go so crazy on him. <sighs> Man, they would die. They want to jump on him because he is so handsome. He's so good looking, brother, and he is so sexy, and you know it. I mean, everything in this country is fake. This is what fear can do. Oh boy. Uh. Can you spend our know, title most of my being? Yeah, we, we are our topic that you know we know Islam promote torturing, you know, we know that Muhammad himself he tortured many people. But still, you know, we cannot say to China because Muhammad he tortured people, you can torture them too, right? We don't do that. We are against such a thing. Uh, yeah, well what we can do. It is what it is. Oh, look, I found a video. The Prince of Qatar is going to China. <sighs> Me. <laughs> Ching Chong. Welcome the idiot. Money. You see, that this is the money is working in China. See, when you have money, the guy, this guy, his, his country, all of it is not even the size of a building in China. The whole country, population. Money. See money? Like, okay, but, but, but those Chinese are Tartar Shia Muslim over there. Why are you going there? Shaking hands with them and signing an agreement. Brother, you cannot do that. And you go to the Muslim, those YouTubers, brother, we should take an action. An action is required against the aggression of the Chinese. Action is required. And they, how you make the action by a YouTube video? The Muslim, they make an action required by YouTube video. And their leaders, they are in China shaking hands and eating hummus. <laughs> I love it. 
Who is this? Me. The Prince of Saudi is supporting the Chinese who is torturing Muslims. It follows one earlier this week by an all-packed high-powered delegation of Saudi Arabia's strategic rival Iran. It was just yesterday when President They are they are in competition, the Iranian and the Saudi. Who wanna shake hands more with that with the Chinese? <laughs> I love it. I love it. You know? So my friend. <clears throat> Don't let the media and the news, you have to be a free thinker. Don't take a side too, you see? Don't take me wrong, I, I love, America is my country, I just joined the USA Army, you know? So, I mean, what is more proof that you love this country, more joining the army of this country? So, but when we speak the truth, we have to be not taking a side. We are Christians before we are anything else, before you are a Chinese or Indonesian or Ukrainian or Arab or American, if you are a Christian, you know that the truth will set you free. We don't support corrupt leaders. Those people, they make war just for money and they go for peace just for the same reason. Not because they love peace, not because they love war, but because they love money. They have one God they share, it's called dollar. And this dollar, God can change, by the way, it can be the Chinese Yun. Actually, I like the Yun to be God. Yun, hey my God, Yun, how are you? Yun, yeah, they worship money. So you have to be a free thinker and don't let TV stations drive you here and there. They are desperate to stop any growing country, regardless if it's good or bad. You see, when we say they are against China because it's a growing country, became so powerful, economy powerful, military, uh, because they fear it. They fear losing their place in the world. Not because they are defending the human right. They don't care for human right. I mean, don't you know what the, the, the I mean, they are communists, hello? Actually, USA, the stupid American, they are the one who put China in the third world, uh, like support, what they call it, I don't know what they call it. Like, you know, if there's countries, they, they, like a new development world. So they have them, they give them a lot of advanced things, like they don't pay uh, customs when they bring things to USA. Uh, we send them even technicians to teach them. Uh, we send them money to teach children, etc. They are the one who sponsor them to grow. But they sponsor them at that time, hoping they will never grow because we sponsor them. Which means, by the money we give, we control them. Do as we say. Now this country, who used to be, uh, you know, weak before, poor, now became so powerful. Guys, did you go to China? I went to China, it's amazing. New York is a rat city compared to any city in China. I mean, we have the most bad trains, the most bad transportations, the most bad streets. Go to China, my friend. What is the, what is the, Mr. Virus Corona came from? What the name of city? What the name of city? Go check that city. You wanna believe it that the city exists in China? We are, uh, we are behind. We are behind in everything. Yet, I'm not saying that life in China is better because this, this country concentrates only about how to make money, not how to make people. And that is their big lose. So I believe China still, after all what they accomplish, they lost the biggest thing. How to keep our nation a nation, a nation of moral, a nation of ethic, a nation of God, a nation of uh, uh, something right and wrong. Communism brought nothing but evil. Yes, they build buildings. They have roads. They have highway. They have airport. They are importing everything to everyone in the world but their own citizen are not really happy. 
if you go to those cities, you will be amazed how well built it is. In the same time, if you go to New York, you will feel sorry for people who live in New York. I mean, New York is not a city no more. People are living in California, people are living in New York, people are living, you know? There's a city, I saw a city, it's called Shenzhen, I don't know. China, big city, let's see. You know, I forgot my Chinese, by the way, because Allah, he sent me Chinese in seven letters, like Prophet Muhammad. And then, brother, I forgot some of uh, the language. You know, after I ate uh, Chinese uh, hot uh, noodle, you know? And uh, yeah, this is what happened. So if you go on YouTube now, let us say, uh, let, us, let us choose a, a video, hold on. Commercial. If you are an American, you will know what I'm talking about right away when you see the video. Like the Chinese, the communists, we talk about them. This is their cities. Just just drive in the street and see. Just see the, 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 the highway, see see the, the, the garden, see the streets, see the structures, see the train stations. You will not believe it. You know, the, you know in America, they keep talking about the communists, the communists, the communists. Well, you are a communist too. You see, in the Communist Party, the corruption is always like this. The leaders of the country are the rich. The most rich people, they own billions. In America, we don't have communists, we have capitalism, right? But there's we have a bunch of guys control America. Facebook owner, a kid. Google owner, a kid. Twitter owner, a kid. Those are the ones who control the country. They are so powerful to the point they banned the president, Twitter, and Facebook. They are so powerful to the point government cannot stop them. It's just a communist in different form. And if you say something they don't agree with you, why I don't keep my videos in YouTube? Did you ask yourself? I am a person who made thousands and thousands of videos. I can't keep them on my channel. I have to delete them every like 24 hours, 48 hours. Because we have a communist companies. Control your mouth. Control your pocket. Why I cannot receive donation in, uh, in Google? Because Google is not happy with me. They have to punish you. You are not saying what we like. But if you are a terrorist who support Al-Qaeda, you can collect donation. Even if you say, uh, the one who leave Islam, we have to kill him. And then even if people, they complain about the video, you don't take it down and still they can't take donation. Terrorism have many forms. This is the truth. And those who they say or they, they claim they are fighting terrorism, they are terrorists themselves. You know, just two days ago we spoke about men beating women, right? This is a sign. This is a this is an act of terror. This is an act of terrorism. A woman she cannot speak her mind. She cannot be a person, a human being. So what we do? We terrify her and we beat her in order to obey. And the Quran says that in chapter four, verse thirty-four. If they obey, you stop beating them. That is terrorism. And this is what all those regimes in the world, including the West, including the East, including the Russian, including the Chinese, including the American, including the France, all of them they do. But some of them they give you a little, let's say, okay, we will let you open your mouth a little bit. Huh? Eh, we will not kill him. As long as he is not too big, we will not. But if he grows so big, we will make him go. So my friend, don't believe what they say. Believe what they do. Don't believe what they say. 
believe what they do for this is the only truth this is why the Lord he says from their fruits you shall know them not from a title not from you know a statement they make a lot of statements none of them is true this is for sale this is a business nothing personal I pray for all countries who they are suffering from war like Ukraine to be wise and smart people and not to let American use them not to let the Russian use them not to let the West use them you know be independent be wise be smart nothing for free my friend when the American they say to you we are going to support you nothing for free and they will not not in the case of war <clears throat> excuse me they will never do anything like this they will never support you if war break they will watch you dying and they will say uh, we will visit you in the funeral you know we are coming in the, sure, the only promised place we will uh, even the funeral by the way they might not be there <clears throat> liars my friend liars they are fake they are corrupt so I hope the Ukrainian are you know they have a wise leadership I pray for that so they can free their land but yet they will not let any other country use them Iran don't dare to fight America don't dare to fight Israel but they do they created militant groups like Hezbollah you know Hezbollah is just a militant so we send some missiles at you at Israel and those missiles they don't even kill chicken and that will make us look like heroes but Iran itself don't dare to go in war with Israel do they Iran cannot fight USA, so what we do? We create a militant in Yemen, Syria, Lebanon. This is how they do this is how they do their dirty game, their dirty war. They use those poor people to die for them, and they will not their citizen go involved in war. Don't let them use you. I think we are done for today. Uh, I don't know if this topic was good for you guys. Uh, this is my opinion in politics and how I see things. You don't have to accept what I say, even though my cousin is Saddam Hussein and my other cousin is Al-Qazafi. And we are very democratic people. And by the way, Al-Qazafi, he said, democracy, democracy is not a record. And it's the Latin, he used it from the word democracy. Democracy in the, in the Libyan accent means bring the chairs. Democracy, and supposedly the Qazafi proved that democracy is coming from us. Even democracy, we are the one who made democracy. Yes, we chop your head if you say something, but we are democratic. We chop your head with democratic knife. You know, we are very, very democratic, right? And my cousin Saddam Hussein is the proof, and the other cousin, uh, the Assad, is the proof, and the uh, uh, the King of Jordan. I mean, the, the, the king of Jordan, his, his brother, his, they accuse that there is a cue against him. Why? Because his brother, he went to visit the victims of Corona. <laughs> the king, he got like, he, he started farting, like, what? My brother, he went where? Uh oh, people will like him more than me, you know? So he put him under arrest. You see, democratic? And Biden, he called him, hey, king of Jordan, we stand with you. I mean, stand with him for what, you idiot? Uh, because this is our puppy we cannot let him go we defend our puppies my friend the king of Jordan is our puppy we stand with you do you stand with him if Israel attack no <laughs> hey Biden what if the Israeli tomorrow they attack Jordan are you standing with Jordan um, next question <laughs> you know the thing you know the thing you know yeah so 
don't trust the American to protect you because the easiest answer is from the president which we have right now he will say to you you know the thing hey president you told us go and hide the Russian are you going to send your troops uh you know the thing we cannot do that you know the thing like what but you told us you will support us you said you want to send warship to the Black Sea I said to the Black Sea not to Ukraine hello <laughs> Oh boy. And you know, America, by the way, is so powerful to the point we, 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 we choose, if this is true, the most stupid guy to be a president. I mean, look how powerful this country is. We have a genius in the, in the White House. Did you see his last speech in the White House? He made one speech since he became president. Um, 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 and he flipped papers, like he forgot about the topic. Uh, but hey, Joe, do you know your name? Uh, Joe Biden has been. You know the thing? I mean, we, we could not even find a good guy to be in, a leader for us. You depend on us to protect you. They told him to go to leave the airplane. We are done. He went to the bathroom. I mean, have you ever heard of a president? He did mislocate the door of the airplane. He think it's a bathroom door. I mean, they, do, they don't even look the same. Hey, President, that's not here. That door. Uh, okay. Well, which door? You know the thing. While people around the world, they choose the smartest person supposedly to be a president, we choose the most stupid one in history. <laughs> and he's a, he's a, you know, we should have changed the flag. We should call it, you know the thing. I mean, this is good. Actually, you can refute anyone. Like uh, from now on, if I'm Muslim, he debate me. He says, "Can you answer this?" I say, "You know the thing." <laughs> Look how fast and easy, man, victorious, victory. You know the thing. They ask Muhammad, "Where is Allah?" You know the thing. Uh, Prophet, how come there's nobody? And you know the thing. There's no witnesses. No, you know the thing. Uh, Prophet, can you explain this verse? You know the thing. Uh, I hate really politics, but I found that I have to speak about it so you will not be deceived and you will not be fooled. Uh, I pray for all people who have needs of protection and safety. We pray for peace. We pray that the Ukrainian would not go in war with the Russian and the Russian, they will give the, back, the, the land back to the Ukrainian. And we pray that uh, uh, every country in the world to have a true president who really love his country and he is not evil. This is what we are missing in this earth. We have a bunch of evil people controlling all our nations. And they are the same one who made the first war, war one and the second war. And soon they will do the war number three, which is going to burn the whole earth. Sadly, if you are a good person, you will not be a president. Nobody will vote for you because who is going to support you? No one. To be there, you need money. And to have money, you need the support of the corporations. They are the giant. We are living in a time where countries are not the giants. It is companies. If you go and look at the budget of Google and you check the budget of Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, all of it, you will see what we are talking about. Companies, my friend. That is what we have. They are the one who will choose a president to all countries. There's a guy, what's his name? George Soros. He is the one who decides who will become prime minister, who will become a president in Europe, in Europe, not only around the world in Europe imagine and if you go against him he is going to use his empire of money to defeat you and he will for money is more powerful than the biggest army in the world if those army are led by corrupt people who money is their God 
So I want to say thank you guys for being here. Uh, I hope I did not hurt the fiend of any one of you. And if I do, I'm proud of it. And uh, if you got hurt but what, what I said, you know the thing, you know? This is the only answer I have for you and that will make you feel better. <laughs> so take it easy and uh, uh, <clears throat> God bless uh, the, the, the Joe Biden, you know? For he is the genius and this, uh, we, you know, we are number one country in the world. Yeah, and the proof, we know the thing. And you know the thing. But the only one who know the thing is Biden, by the way. He have all the report of the CIA in front of him, but he knew the thing, I mean, come on. I don't know if even he know how to read it. Anyway, so I will leave you with you know the thing. I'm not going to keep my videos. As you know, I don't keep my videos about politics online uh, because they are very dangerous. Man, they are very dangerous. And now if you see the comment after I leave, man, the comment is hilarious, oh boy. I love the comment. You know, sometimes I feel for women when they get married. I mean, imagine this guy who made such a comment marrying a woman. Me, you know the thing. Unbelievable. And by the way, they say that women are not smart and men are genius. Just read the comment and die laughing. Unbelievable. I love it. I love it. Yeah, men are the genius and women are the stupid one. Most of the stupid comment is coming from men, not from women. Seriously. I mean, men with their comments sometimes, they beat the most high stupid, which means Joe Biden, you know, thing, in their comment. And I love it. So thank you very much, men, women who join us. Don't forget to subscribe if you are did not subscribe yet and you are subscribed don't forget to unsubscribe because you know the thing and by this we say god bless you have a great uh, uh, weekend a great sunday enjoy it with your family pray for everybody pray for peace pray for the peace in ukraine we pray for the president we pray for the people not to be fooled by anyone and we pray for them to be safe so thank you god bless you and uh, until we see you soon again christ is lord and Many are false, and the truth will set you free. With the truth, we leave you. With the peace of Christ, we protect you. God bless. Take care.